Your pastors, your leaders are the blueprint. They're what yeah. the outside of the box yeah. Yeah. looks like. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You can't say that you didn't expect something. If you, if you looked at the box, you knew exactly what to expect. Right, right. that's right. But when I looked at the box, I saw family. Mm. I saw hope givers. Y'all teachers keep speaking to me. I, I love Come it. on now. I'm not going to get something to take back with me. Yeah. I don't care yeah. if you got his name on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> I love the message. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I love the message. And so when you walked into this ministry and you looked at the cover, you saw men that loved their wives. You saw those that were doing well, prosper, prospering yeah. in the things of God. You saw that on the box. Now what happened is, it's going to be up to you to get the pieces on the inside of the box and begin to build the life you want because just because you see the picture doesn't mean that the life you want is going to be automatic. Yeah. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. It's not going to be automatic. Come on, you there. You don't have to get involved. You're going to have to pull all the pieces out. Well. And when you pull all the well. pieces out, and you're going to have to watch this. Keep your eyes on the model. Yeah. Keep your eyes on the box mm -hmm. to make sure mm -hmm. that the pieces that you're putting together are in the right place. Yeah. Or you have the right number of pieces Come on. in order to finish the model. Because there have been times where I was, I was building a Mustang and I was a wheel short. My <laughs> God. I'm on, I mean, y'all know, it wasn't a good time to go back to the store when you had most of it put together already. And, and see, back then, I spent my own money for it. And so, you know, I really was interested in going back and getting that missing piece. Yeah. <laughs> when you are invested in something, you're going to do whatever you have to do to yeah. make sure that you got all the pieces that yes. you don't need to have a prosperous life. Yes, Come sir. on, sir. Yes, sir. And so I'm on the inside, and, and, and I'm built, and I got to take all the pieces out. And I look at the instructions, and I look at the instructions, and I got to make sure. I'm keeping my eye on the blueprint. See, what you do is keep your eyes on your pastors. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. You there. Don't look at other people. Don't yes, look at what they're saying. Yes, Don't look at whatever they're conceiving in their mind. Keep your eyes on the yes, blueprint. Sir. Yes, sir. Because yes, sir. they don't have all the pieces to build what you're trying to build. Amen. My God. Amen. 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 It is, sir. They yes, are sir. pieces short. Uh -huh. Some of your friends like being broke, and if you don't like broke, they got some missing pieces. Yeah. Jesus, my God. Some of them are, are love to be sick, and you don't want to be sick, so mm. they got missing pieces. Come on, make it plain, sir. Half of them don't like their wife, and their wife don't like their husband. They got missing pieces. Yes, Jesus. And so, whatever you're trying to build, you can't build if you don't have all the pieces. Well, how do you get all the pieces that you need to be able to build the life that you've been trying to build all along in the first place when you walk down the altar and say, hey, I want to become a part of speaking spirit, but you don't see all the pieces that it's going to take for you to build the life that speaking spirit has given you. Right. Mm -hmm. Look at this. 38. Now it came to pass as they went that he entered into a certain village and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house, 39, and she had a sister called Mary, which also, and look at this word, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. Now that is an implication. Get this, that's an implication that the girl did spend some time at Jesus' feet and hear his word, just like her sister did, but the problem was she wasn't as interested in modeling the message as she was opposed to doing what she wanted to do. Wow. Wow. She 
see, he's interested in doing her thing. Okay, let's look at the progression of how she started freaking out. It says, but Martha was cumbered about with much serving and came to him. Man, get this, y'all. Get this, y'all. This chick. Can you say chick? <laughs> she leaned on Jesus, y'all. This girl leaned on Jesus. Well, she said, she said, uh, she said, does thou not care if my sister has left me to serve alone? If, 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 if I was to really go 21st century, so can you oh. tell this type of heaven to have to come help me? Oh. Oh. oh my God. I'm 21st century. I'm going to church. I should expect it. <laughs> because that's literally what she was saying. She was all upset talking about Kirk. Make this girl come help me. She said, bid her therefore that she can help me. Verse 41. He didn't deal with what she wanted because he knew she didn't have all the pieces. Right. Come on. He didn't listen, she didn't get everything. Right. And Jesus. the worst thing you can do is come and sit week to week or every other week or whenever you feel like it in this place mm. and miss some of the pieces. Come on. You missing some of the pieces. Flow, okay. sir. In college, in college, Y'all know all you all you graduates. Go ahead in this class. Professor don't care. That's true. The yeah. only thing they want to know is did you pay your tuition? <laughs> <laughs> That's all they want to know. Did you pay your tuition? <laughs> they don't care if you don't ever show up. Just make sure the tuition is paid. Yeah. Yeah. Now when you didn't pay the tuition, you couldn't go. I mean, if you didn't have all the lessons because you was playing hooky with some of them. And you go to them and say, hey, look, uh, can I take my exam another time? Because you know I missed like three weeks because it was nice outside. I missed three weeks because it was my grandmama's birthday. I missed three weeks because it was Mother's Day. Mm, my God. How many of y'all know the professor going to be like, the test still the same? Amen. Yeah. You're still going to have to take it. That's right. When you're going to take it, now get this. The reason that I'm saying this to you is when the enemy tests you, just because you're missing some of the pieces, mm. you still gonna have to take the test. Amen. Amen. Come on, you dance, sir. Come you on. You still have to take the test. So when he attacks your body, you still gotta take the test. Wow. Forget that you missed the healing me. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> you dance, sir. When it came to prosper, when it came to prosper, I don't, I don't believe in that financial prosperity. Brooks a lot more words. <laughs> I know that's right. Mr. But it's not all of everything of who we are. It's just a portion of who we are so that we can fund the things that God wants us to yes. fund. Yes. You got me a hip. I'm, I'm in the airport. I'm in the airport thing. This lady's working in the airport because she decided to take a job to, so her son would take a part time job. So her son wouldn't have to pay um, was your student loans. You know. You try to forget things like that, you know, because you don't want to get them. Okay, praise the Lord. <laughs> when I did it, it was two thousand. Y'all doing it is a hundred thousand. Yeah. yeah. And so she decided she gonna do that. And so I'm talking to her, listening to her, and and and, and this is what I heard. I heard in my heart. He says, "Son, that's why you got to load up." I said, "What's that?" He said, "Because he said you would have left here." And you would have told her, give me the name of the school. I'll write the check with you. Glory, glory. That's right. See, right. that's how you got to think. Right. right. That's right. That's right. how you got to think. And that's how I was thinking. I said, I said Lord, I received that. Amen. And so I now know that the next test, because you didn't hear it. I said, I was going to write it for the first two years. Uh -huh. My God. I promise you, if she wouldn't have believed it, she would have became a believer that day. Yeah. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> that's the way that some people are going to believe. Amen. That's true. But, 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 but what happens if I toned out every time the pastor teaches about giving and talks about giving? You know, he got a book on me, huh? I got to take his book back with me. Jesus. Teach him. Oh, yeah, I got to take his book back with me. It's, it's a lot you don't know about your friends till you see them on <laughs> And you, 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 the person sitting next to you, you don't even know what they have in there. Mm. That's right. Come on, and sir. You don't even know some of the people that's, that's around you because they got your answer. Mm. Amen. Right. Amen. I ain't got to study enough to read yeah. nothing. Let me read what he wrote. 
That's right. Yeah. yeah. And then teach it, and then tell everybody I'll give him credit the first time, but after that, I'm going to take all the credit. Missing pieces. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the pieces are missed because of the condition of the heart. Come on, it's you there. It's not even in the absence of the body, Jesus. but it's in the condition of the heart. Because this girl was there, but she still didn't get it. That's good, there are sir. some people that are there that are getting it. And the difference is the results in their life. Yes. And God's trying to get the results in your life so pushed forward mm -hmm. that your family, your cousin in, your grandma in, and everybody told you you wasted your time oh, over at that church. My but, God. But, 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 but you got the fruit. Yes. Jesus. And the evidence. Come yes. on, sir of having all the pieces, because here's how you gotta do it, here's how you gotta do it, because I believe in whole life prosperity, spirit, soul, and mind. Yes, sir. Whole life, spirit, soul, and mind. I'm the, the money person, because if you got money, but you don't have peace, then you don't oh have Come on, sir, flow. <laughs> and so, because I'm a whole life prosperity person, I believe that that's what I have to be the example of to those who I'm trying to minister to, Watch this, because everybody I'm ministering to, I'm not talking to. Mm -hmm. That's good. Because there are a lot of people I'm ministering to by observation. Yes, sir. Yes. They're Jesus. observing me. Uh -huh. They're Jesus. checking on me. They're checking stuff out. There's people in the age of social media, oh, they're really checking you out. My God. They're checking you out. Y'all got page stalkers. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter Lady said, I hope you're not one of the paid stars. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, sir. <laughs> but here's where I am with that. When others are trying to distract me, I, I show them in front of the box. Wow. Come on, sir. When they're going to ask something to me, I show them in front the of the box. The front of the box. Yeah, God. This is what I'm working on. My, my, my. This is what I've been working on the whole time. And if your peace ain't in my box, my. I can't do this. <laughs> Jesus. My God. That's it, sir. I'm working on something. You can't see what I'm working on because you don't have a revelation of what I have a revelation of. That's right. That's right. That's you right. You don't me. You just got to show Right. That's right. That's right. Like, That's like, it, like sir. when they had the women's conference, he had, that was here. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. and, and I, yeah, it was the ball. Go ahead, come in. Come in. Yeah. It, was it was only one thing I wanted to impress with. And Krispy Kreme donuts they brought out of the <laughs> She said they was good. She said, you know Krispy Kreme? I looked the phone out my picture and said, no, nah, I've been working too hard to backslide for some Krispy Kreme. I said, at the time I said, I lost 125 pounds and you want me to fall away. I got Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your prayer confessions, your faith yes. confessions. Yes, sir. Your vision board. Yes. Always what you're working on. Mm-hmm. Always what you're working on. Why? Because you don't want to fall back into what you used to be and how you used to think. Yes. Jesus. Okay, get this. And I can share this because I, I, this is my business. I, I like to tell my business. I, I don't have 
I can tell everybody else. So, so in, in Lassa, a, a year ago, a year ago, my pants were 50 weights. You ain't gotta be like, because that's how it works. Okay, I had to go in the store last night and get some 36s. Because my mind was so set on how I used to do things, right. how I used to eat, how I used to yeah, shop, right. it was so set that even when I started losing the weight, my mind would always take me to the teach. Teach. section teach. where I used to be at. Teach. Oh, wow. right. 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 It was always taking me there. I'm walking into the store, going to where I used to be because my mind wasn't renewed enough about wow. what I was doing, the pieces I was putting together and going yeah. on. So at Berkeley, I just kept going back to that. To the million. Said, you can't wear nothing in here. What you gonna get? You got over there. Oh my God. The section. I said, ain't nobody ever said that to me, so go over there. Oh and, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it made me think about something. How many of us as believers keep going back to the section yes. that we were familiar with? Come yeah. on, you there. Prior to the transformation oh, my God. and the change of your lifestyle. Come on, come on. See, when the enemy does that, he's robbed you of your expectations. Oh, Jesus. Because you no longer ex had an expectation of the word. You only heard it, mm. but you didn't expect to become one with it. Mm. My God. Because, because mentally, mentally, the problem that happens with most people when it comes to finances is your mindset. That's right. That's right. It's a mindset. You got to learn how to sometimes it's just about saying no. Mm -hmm. yes. That's all. Last night I went to the store. I wanted to get a pants and they had some tennis shoes and stuff like that. And I told the lady, if it ain't on clearance, I don't want it. That's right. Now, how many of y'all know I was kind of praying it was on clearance? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be bad. And so what happened was she said, No, I'm sorry, someone just put it over there and did it. Yeah. See, you can't be ashamed of stuff. When you transition, you better be buying some clean stuff because it ain't going to be permanent. And so she right. said, No, I'm sorry, sir. She said, These are not clearance. I said, I don't want the shoes, I don't want the pants, and I don't want them pants either. And I turned around and walked away because who said that I needed to hang back? And so the enemy always has your mind returning back to what it used to be. Come on. What it used to do and how it used to treat My you. God. Flow there, sir. Flow there. And you and it's just easy to revert back to that. Yeah, it is. It's real easy. And you that's why you gotta keep looking at the box. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the box will remind me, I'm off of there. Something missing. Mm -hmm. I don't have the peace that I need. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. maybe I have it. And that's what you have to do in the realm of the spirit. You gotta look and see what you're missing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Relative to this word. Yes. That's what happened to Mark. Look at this. Jesus called her name twice. You know if you were small and your mama called your name twice, oh, you were in trouble. My God. When you heard your name twice, you knew you were in trouble. Teach, sir. Jesus called that girl name twice. Like, you better listen. He says, you are careful and troubled about many things. Here's the issue. When you let people crowd your life, they're putting pieces in your box that don't fit to the pieces. Yes. Come on now. You go up and look at your box like, where all this stuff come from? Oh, this ain't in the, this ain't on the sheet, it ain't in the picture. They throwing their troubles on in your box. They My throwing, God. They, they throwing their own disobedience in your box. Let me tell you something that I've been delivered from. 
When I have given wisdom and someone doesn't follow it, it no longer becomes my problem. Uh -oh. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Sister. Yeah. He's supposed to help you right there when I told him. Yeah. yeah. Amen. When they decided that they still want to do what they want to do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because if I'm not careful, they'll cause me to lose focus. That's yeah. mm. On my box. My God. If, if you got somebody, I, I know it's not happening, but I'm just doing this for the future. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not this church right now. Uh -huh. and, you know? and so what happens is you'll have people who are troubled about many things that will come to this church and just start hearing them this problem about something the pastor said. Mm -hmm. You, you, you got to tell them, oh, 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 wait a minute. You talk, where your box at? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Like my wife, my wife, my wife loves to bake. Thank God I don't love, I didn't love to eat sweets. Except sweet potato pie. Oh, I'm on the side. Me too. I only like two things, sweet potato pie and banana pudding. Okay. <laughs> But here's what she would do. She would bake it, but she wouldn't show me how. How many of y'all know the brother wanted to know how? Yeah. Because if she don't bake me nothing, <laughs> when they ain't home, I can bake you one to taste the same way and look the same way. So they wouldn't show me that. I was a little, I was a little offended at first, but I got it. <laughs> Watch this. When you come here and you get the ingredients for the box, Pastor Fred is showing you how to build the life that he's been teaching you about. Amen. Amen. You don't need him to reaffirm what he already gave you the ingredients. Wow. He's giving you the ingredients. Okay, so what if you got to mess a couple of pies up to get it right? Oh, you got to hear what I said. Mm -hmm. You're so scared of failing that you won't try. Oh, Jesus. Oh, honey, pass some, pass some tests, fail some tests. Pass some tests, fail some tests. At least you're taking the test. Yeah. yeah. He said, he said, he said, one thing is needful. And let me have the opportunity. Some of you are not advancing as quickly as the box says you're supposed to. Because sometimes you can overlook what's needed for what's wanted. Mm -hmm. yes. My God. Come on, stay there, sir. He said, one thing is needed, and Mary has chosen the good part, which shall not be taken away, away from her. Mm -hmm. Listen, listen. In your box, because that's why you ought to be getting those CDs and DVDs, because they're pieces. Oh, man. That's good. My God. And there's an opportunity, like they said at the feet of Jesus, that's an opportunity for you to sit at the feet of your pastor. Yes, sir. CDs and DVDs, sit at the feet of your pastor. CDs and DVDs, sit at the feet of your pastor. CDs and DVDs, sit at the feet of your you pastor. You got it, sir. You just keep listening until you become one with what you want. Yes, sir. Amen. Till you start seeing the gush open. Till you start seeing Glory. the water rushing out. Glory Till you to start God. seeing the harvest come to life. Hallelujah. Until you start seeing yeah. the manifestation come to where it's supposed to come. Yes, sir. Just stay committed and stay focused and keep your eyes on the box. My God. Yes, sir. Just keep your eyes on the box. I know other people doing this and I know other people saying that, but look at their hearts. Because here's the thing, you can have, you can't fake but for so long. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You can't fake but for so long. You have to stay on point to what you're working on and do. I prophesied some houses last time. Did y'all start moving in yet? Yes, you did. Not yet? Y'all just let me know. Why you get a house? Please. 
<laughs> and I say this as a pastor, when every time we don't do construction inside the church, I got to get someone to come in and I got to give him a vision of what I want. Amen. And I give him a vision for what I want. And I say, okay, let's put a blueprint together. Because my job is to convey it to you. Your job is to put it in blueprint. Amen. And then you need to tell me all the material I need to get this job done. Amen. And so once I convey it, the person looks at it. And the person comes back and says, okay, you're going to need this much sheetrock. You're going to need this much nails. You're going to need this much screws. You're going to need this much two by twos. You're going to need this much four by fours. You're going to need this much two by fours. They come back, you're going to need this much ceiling tile. You're going to need, and they come back and tell me with everything that I need. Cool. Now, how many of you know if I shorted about one piece of sheet rock, it's not going to be finished? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I don't have enough nails, how many of y'all know they just the walls of Jericho is going to be coming down? <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to build something and you don't have all the material. Come on, sir. And what we're seeing is that one sheetrock is missing in your life. My God. And that causes the Martha syndrome because you become troubled about many things because you didn't follow the blueprints. Mm. Jesus. If they told you that it needed 175 nails, don't get 160 because you don't want to buy a new box. Mm. Mm. If I'm sitting here telling you that the greatest form of increase comes through serving, don't try to eliminate serving. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Don't try to eliminate serving because you're eliminating a piece. My God. Not that you have the final picture. Yes, sir. If I tell you that giving is a portion of that, don't try to eliminate it because you don't like that piece. Mmm. If I, if, I, if I were to say to you, loving your neighbors is a peace, don't try to eliminate that peace. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And so it is the elimination of the pieces that we need that can cause the shortage in our increase, our manifestation, and our destiny that God has for us. And listen, because I consider y'all family, I, because when y'all make it, I make it. Yes. Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, I'm talking straight. Y'all make it individually. Y'all make it. I make it. I won't be the one clapping for you. Glory to God. I'll be the one clapping for you, clapping with you. And you ain't going to get no side eye out of me. Come on, because sir. Because I understand that you turned on the law. Yes, yes, yes. God. Yes, God. Not low, the law, low. but you turned on a law. Low. Jesus said the serving is the greatest way to get yourself accelerated in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So when you serve, you turn on a law. Mm -hmm. That law cannot be extinguished mm -hmm. by haters or agitators. My God, my God. You there, sir. When you turn, when you open your mouth and you turn on a law, that law will work for Lottie, Dottie, and everybody. Nah, I'm out. Right. Yes, sir. I share this. You, get, get this. Laws know no color, nationality, ethnicity, or anything. If I was to climb up to this roof and would jump off this roof, I would turn on the law of gravity. Mm -hmm. And the law of gravity don't care how much I weigh. The law of gravity don't care where I live. The law of gravity don't care what color I am. Mm -hmm. The law of gravity don't matter if I've been a part of speaking spirit one week or if I've been a part of the seven years. <laughs> Come on, when sir. When I turn on the law, it'll work for the person that's been here one month like it'll work for the person that's been here one week. Wow. Year. Wow. That's good. To see that. That's good, so sir. You, you turn on the law. Now, when you turn on the law, when you turn on the law, it will identify whether the pieces in your box are knockoffs. Oh my God. My, my, my. Because you know how you find out a knockoff works? 
Just open it up and look at the stitch. That's right. Yes. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> you find out what's on the inside of it to determine what it's made of. Wow. And what's on the inside of it will tell us what it's really made of. You damn. Whether it's authentic or not. Come wow. on, sir. The inside. You get every work you're supposed to get because the world needs to see that you got a letter that comes with your purse. Mm. Come on, sir. And when you've been married, you learn stuff like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you are authentic. You are not a knockoff. You are authentic. You are the real deal. And every piece in you is real. Why? Because every word you receive, every word you receive. And so when you turn on the law, and so in uh, Ruth 1 and 14, and I'll just share that, they, they were weeping, and uh, Orpah, Ruth, and Naomi. Naomi told them to go back to the Moabites, which were her people. Orpah kissed her and they departed. Don't let anybody kiss you. Because they didn't say it. Let's just kiss and say goodbye. Judas kissed Jesus. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Jesus. Be careful. The next person to walk up on you, I'm going to give you your back. Look for them. They're making room to leave. <laughs> wow. Jesus. Why? Because four Paul rolled out. Ruth said, uh-uh, I ain't going away. Your God will be my God. Your people will be my people. Wherever you live, I'm going to live. Whatever you do, I'm going to do. Now, here's, here's why I say that. Four Paul represented a person who looked the same as Ruth, but didn't have the same as Ruth. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Just, you got to hear what I just said. She looked like she had the same thing that Ruth said, had, but when the pressure came on, we found out that she was really a knockoff. Mm -hmm. mm. Ruth showed she was a real deal because all of the pieces that she got from being around Naomi all those years caused her to say, I'm going with you. Yes. No matter what you do, no matter what you do, you want to get all the pieces that the pastor's been teaching. What you do, sit at his feet. If you have missed for whatever reason, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you, just go, go in the bookstore and buy everything you ain't heard yet. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? No, really. The reason I'm telling you to do that because there's some missing pieces you don't have in your life that's in the bookstore. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. So if you're sincere about getting all of your life, you want to get all the pieces that he's dropped, all the nuggets that he has dropped. Like, 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 I got a real revelation or something that it was a real revelation. It wasn't a fake one. The Bible told us as husbands that if we don't honor our wives, don't even bother praying. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. He says, husbands, honor your wives so that your prayers be not hindered. So all of that praying in the Holy Ghost and all that kind of stuff, I have to fix it. Because he's telling me that when I dishonor her, I turn on another law. Yeah. I got it. I, it's a law of what I don't want. What happens is when you dishonor your man and woman of God, you turn on a law you don't want. Mm -hmm. Amen. God. That's not a law you want. Why? It's too, got too much time invested. You got too much of getting up on Sundays invested. You got too much of hearing invested. You got too much serving invested. You got all of that invested. And I'm here to tell you, because you got it invested, I want to see you get everything out of your investment. I want to see you get the maximum return out of your Jesus. investment. I want you to see everything that God promised My you in God. your box. That he's preparing the table before you in, in the, the presence, presence of, of your enemies. enemies. Yes. I want you to see your haters are really just admirers from afar. I want you to see it. My because God. this is what God has for you. And maybe, maybe you got to know all the pieces you have so come you on. can have a peace of mind the next time that somebody tries to come against you. You just let it roll off and you like run off a duck's back. Yeah. Because you realize that greater is he than he yeah. is. I got all the pieces. Just yeah. me. And because I have all the pieces that I need to succeed, I can't let you get me off. Lord of God.
Glory to God. You got all the pieces in your box. Mm -hmm. Just keep your eyes on the box. Mm -hmm. Because the model will let you know that you're building it the right way. Mm -hmm. And I'm out of time. Come on, let's give it a hand. Hallelujah.